Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 17 here on planet 26, and if you remember the troubles we were having at the end of last episode, we couldn't get the printer to print, and I figured out what the problem was. Uh, I didn't uh, disable the amount of uh, uh, PCUs that I could uh, have. And so it had apparently hit its limit. Uh, I disabled that and I managed to, let's go out here. You'll see it uh, sitting right down there. There's a drone that printed out. So I've got it sitting down there. I'll uh, hook it up, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, print another one out. We're gonna see that it actually works. So let's get back in here. Uh, I need to get my projection going. So let's get this set up. I won't, I won't bring the printer up yet until I get the projection going. So let's do this. Let's get into our control panel. Let's go to our projector and let's go into blueprints and let's make sure we get the right one. Should be this one right here. Uh, cargo, two cargo bins, all right. Let's copy to the clipboard and now we can uh, use this to uh, get our uh, get it lined up so I can never remember let's see uh, actually that's we need to do that uh, oh let's go back let's Okay, I think, okay, I just got to flip it around. It's not that one. It's that one. All right, now we just got to move it forward. Let's get over to our uh, hot bar number two. And I think, move that out. And then let's move it up. And let's move it back. Nope. Nope. There we go. Yep, that's it. Let's move it forward one. Oh. Nope, not that one. Move it forward one. All right. Now let's hop out and go put a block in here. And it really doesn't matter what color it is. Well, although we're not going to. Let's make it gray and battered. We'll put that block there. All right. Now that is ready to go. Now let's weld that up. I just, something about it, there we go. I like that. All right, now we can move our printer up and in into place. And let's do this. Uh, let's uh, reverse that. And we should have enough parts. So one of the things that as I am printing this, it will uh, make the parts as it's needed, uh, or it'll pull the parts in as it's needed. And uh, uh, it will uh, print. So once it's done printing in a certain area, uh, we'll just have to wait for it to do done uh, welding. And it should print that. And while we're waiting on that, Let's go to the control panel, our piston, 
we need to move this minimum distance up and let's uh, maybe bump that speed up to 0.3 there we go that's a little better that speed probably does is not going to hurt anything because we're doing it in increments okay it is all the way forward actually you know what I need to do uh, one more thing over here I can see I think I need to do this block and do that block there we go weld those up that way it gets started all right now uh, we can hit the reverse so that that's ready to go now the moment of truth. Let's hit F3, or hit 3 and turn the welders on. And let's uh, back it up a little bit. There we go. Now if we hop out, we can see that it is welding all of the parts. So once it is done welding, because it's got to generate the motors and all of that sort of thing, so it's uh, as it's pulling those in, it's sitting there welding them. So the motors. So that's one of the things I want to do is on hand is ensure that uh, there's enough parts. But this one should be, it, as you can see, it is welding up. It just needs to, I'm sure it's just waiting on motors and stuff. Because it's welded that one. But it didn't catch that. It's, uh, yeah, it's just waiting for motors. And so as it's getting the motors, you can see it's continuing to weld. So while that is doing that, we'll kind of let that just kind of weld there. We can uh, come out here. Now we've got this all done. What I need is to slowly or steadily get this down here done. So we've got to get this all hooked in over to there. And let's go ahead and we're going to be competing for parts. All right, let's. Yeah, see, it needs motors. Let's uh, go see how the assembler is doing on that part. They should be building away. Both assemblers should be producing as they need them. And let's look at production. Nothing there. Uh, yeah. Let's bump these up. And yeah, it's taking the motors as fast as they could produce them. So that's one of the things, but the good news is the printer is functioning. It really wasn't anything wrong that I had set up. Uh, it was just a matter of uh, making one of the settings in the game. So let's see what we got done. 
Yeah, see, it's got one of those motors done up there, which wasn't. So as it's getting those motors and stuff, it's going to be uh, uh, printing that out. Well, I tell you what, as it gets a little farther along and as I get more motors built and whatnot, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. All right, well, uh, I actually think that that uh, one section of welding is done, but what I did do was uh, build that third assembler out. So we have it built in and it's all hooked in and so it can help add support for uh, building the uh, uh, for producing the uh, parts that are needed so let's go check this out this should be done welding uh, and uh, then we can move it another notch those uh, thrusters is what uh, really takes a lot yeah as you can see those are all built those are built those are built those are all built out this side, they're all built out. Uh, so let's move it back another notch. You know what I want to do? Actually, hang on here. Bear with me. I need to do this. Uh, let me do this. I want to take a screenshot. Show that the uh, welder is functioning. All right. Let's do this. And we're good. All right. Let's go. Uh, I probably should have took it when it was welding. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I can take it from right here. What do you guys think? Uh, good screenshot. So let's move this back a notch. There we go. Let's move it back one more notch. There we go. Let's, uh, uh, let me do this. Let's hop out. And let's see, make sure that it's welding everything up. Looks like it is. It's still got that uh, connector, but it's probably not far enough back on that. So let's, uh, let's see if we can do this. Uh, let's, uh, there we go. I think that's good. All right. Another screenshot. I like that. All right. And let's uh, hop out again. Let's just make for sure. It was the motors that was holding everything up, I think. There was just all those uh, thrusters need motors. Uh, and I think it's pretty well welded. Let's hop up above up here. Yeah, it looks like it's getting everything, so let's move it back a little bit more. If I had a stockpile of parts, I could probably automate this to slowly move the uh, piston back and then I wouldn't have to sit here and do this but right now we're getting everything built and let's pop back one more now one thing we will do once see one of the things we can do is go into our projector and if we go down to our projector, you can see that it's getting built. Uh, let's hit our projector. And we are, we've got uh, the build process. So we've got 57 blocks of the 61 that are uh, built. 
Uh, so we've got uh, basically a battery and three thrusters left to build. And this probably just needs to come back a little bit more. And there it's getting the thrusters. And... Yeah, it, it's ever so slowly building that, uh, I think there's one thruster left. And it probably just finished that. Let's go into our uh, projector again. So we just got uh, got the one battery left. So it's showing 61. Let's uh, hop out. I want to make sure it did get that uh, all of those uh, thrusters built. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's just got the battery left. And let's just uh, pull it back one more. And there's the battery. And that should... That should be it. So let's take a look at our projector again. Everything's complete. You can see it right here. Uh, it's all done. So let's go ahead and turn the welders off. And let's go ahead and just... Uh, Move the piston all the way back. Move the welders all the way back. And we can hop out of here. So now the next thing, I built this with the engines off or with the thrusters off. So one thing we got to do is let's go over here and open up the hangar doors. All right. And that's the reason for, for this here. I'm going to build a, something a little bit better to get up and into the drone from here or the small ship uh, so if we go over here and we hop up here we can get into it and so you can see I've got the hot bar all set up uh, let's uh, go ahead and turn the thrusters on the autopilot is enabled so let's uh, Let's do this. Uh, we need to get into here. Let me find it. All right. Yeah, it's going to be the move. Recorder, recorder. The flight move. We just need to turn the AI behavior off. And now we can... Uh, Hop back out of here because we need to we need to release it. So if we, let's get rid of these. I could have left that one block on there. All right. So. Let's fly this out of the hangar. Yeah, see, this is... That's why I was uh, moving... Oh, I think I just bumped it. Uh, I gotta get a little farther out, I think. Uh, maybe I bumped on the... Maybe I was up too high. Anyway, let's go connect this up to this connector. Let's get lined up here. Alright, 
forward a little bit more. Let's come down. Let's make sure we're pretty good, actually. Oh, this way a little bit. Let's see. There we go. We're connected. Let's go ahead and connect. All right. We can turn these off. And then we can set this to recharge. There we go. All right. Back in. Let's hop out. So this could be a challenge if I have to get back into it. So we are standing on here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to have to build something here. Some sort of scaffold. Actually, maybe some sort of catwalk coming up along there. Uh, so that all I got to do is basically get up probably one block to be able to get up and in there. But I think uh, building the scaffolding right along here won't interfere with the drone to be able to get in and out of there. Well, there we go. We have managed to print out a drone. Nice. And our printer works. So, success. All right. Well, there's some more things I need to try to get done. Uh, I want to uh, finish working on this dock out here, get it done. The next episode, uh, once I get to it, I, I'm not done with this one yet. Uh, I'm going to keep building away. But uh, once this is all charged up and ready to roll, uh, we will set it up to bring Cobalt in. This will be the first one just because it was closest. So we'll get it set up to do that and continually bringing Cobalt in. But I do have to finish getting the uh, pipeline finished and I'd like to get this dock finished today. So I think with that uh, I will uh, get, the bu get busy and then uh, catch back up with you as I get a little farther along. Well, as you can see, I am just about to get this finished up here, going into, there we go, and then I got enough for that one there. We'll finish those up later once I uh, have, well, I've already got that one built. Uh, we'll get this built up, but I want to go ahead and get that up there. So I've got that. Uh, all built out all the way around over to uh, to the cargo bin so when the ores start coming in they're going to feed right into here and it'll go into the refinery and then process in through here now once I have the nickel and the silicon coming in then I'm going to dismantle that particular resource node over there because it's just bringing in stone just to try to get enough uh, resources in to, to build to get to this point. So, uh, oh, and I did finish up the platform out here for now. Uh, I'm not sure. I might build this out a little bit more in here. Uh, I need to start thinking about my uh, operative center, uh, my control command center, and I think that's going to work that out to here, and I was kind of thinking about building it right into here. So uh, that's, that's kind of what the plan is. So uh, let me see if I can get up here. I think what I want to do next now is try to get this finished out here. Get the deck, at least get this stuff moved out of the way and get the deck uh, finished up here. So that's going to take a lot of steel. But I have a lot of iron, so that shouldn't be a problem. So I will uh, catch back up with you here once I uh, finish this deck off. All 
All right. Well, as you can see, I am just about to get. Well, it's not going to be completely finished, but uh, just about to get the uh, uh, landing deck <clears throat> uh, finished for the drones. Uh, I've got those all moved. Let's go ahead and do this. We can finish painting this out. There we go. All right. So we've got the landing pads all in. Uh, we've got uh, I've got this deck all done. Now I still have to finish getting the pipeline over to those others. Uh, but let's go down here. Let's do one more thing today. And then we'll probably just be about done for the video. Uh, what I would like to do is get uh, this guy moved up there since I've got connectors set up now. Uh, but I still got to get the pipelines done and into here. And then under here, I need to put uh, an event block for each of these drones. Uh, but that uh, we'll do that to here in a little bit later. So let's hop on here. Uh, let's go that. And we'll do that. And let's uh, lift up. And let's see if we can land another one. Kind of want to get this under because I've got to put uh, catwalks up so that uh, I can get in and out of these things. All right. That should be about right. And let's go outside and view this. farther forward straighten it out just a little bit over this way a little bit and that should be about it maybe I'm not oh, I'm not far enough forward now oh well There we go. All right, let's lock it. And we can turn these off. And let's go back inside. Why well, I'm not sure to That 22 on and 22 off. Let's see something here. <clears throat> oh, yep. So that's off. That turned that on over there. Well, I'm going to have to do a little figuring out on that, why that's uh, showing the way it is. So anyway, that's for uh, the next episode. All right, well, we actually got quite a bit accomplished today. We now have two drones set up here. And we actually printed one out. Probably should close this hangar door now. Uh, so I still have to create uh, some sort of ladder or uh, catwalks up into here so that I can uh, uh, get into the drone once it's uh, built and likewise I still got to do that out here and I got to build out those bottoms so I think that's what we'll probably be working on on the next one although what I'd like to do on the next episode is 
get one of these drones working to where they're going back and forth. If I can get that set up uh, properly, and that's going to take a bit, uh, I'll be able to then start uh, getting this one set up, and then probably try to see if I can't get this one set up to go after our nickel. Because I know I'm going to be running out of nickel pretty soon with all the motors and everything that I have built. Uh, we're going to need nickel. And then what I'll probably do is build another one of these that I can use as kind of a scout ship. Uh, I'm going to, instead of flying the, what I can do is go find the ore and then come back and then take the uh, planet rover over and build the ore uh, processing, the ore nodes, and do it that way. Let's uh, close up this hangar. And I think that's about it. Well, if you guys like this video, let's, let's go over and look out the window. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that... Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.